Today, for the first time ever, I'm going to be checking out All That Remains. Somehow, I've never listened to this band. I know that they are one of the OGs. They've been around forever, and they're even from right down the road from me in Massachusetts. So I really should have checked these guys out a long time ago, but somehow I just haven't. I don't know. Uh, but they just dropped a new track, and I'm super stoked to check it out. People seem to be really hyped on it, so let's just jump right into it. But before we do, I'd love to ask you to join the community and subscribe. We love discovering and sharing great new music with each other here. We'd love to have you. <laughs> Straight out the gate. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Vocals, dude. Okay. Okay. Big, big cleans, big chorus, with the double kick drums, okay. Dude, these vocals are insane. This is cool, man. Double kick working overtime. The guitars are so sweet, man. The harmonies. Guitar solo here. Woo! Go oh, off, dude. Bro, <laughs> the sweet. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving this, man. Right, that was all that remains with the new song, Divine. Let's break it down. Dude, I'm so glad I checked that out. That was fantastic. I honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. You know, because these, I think because these guys were have been around so long, I, I kind of knew it was going to be kind of a throwbacky, old school kind of sound. But holy cow, that was so good. You know, so many of these legacy acts, these old school bands are still around and their new albums just aren't cutting it. But this... This was really, really solid. It felt fresh and energetic. That's the thing that a lot of these old school bands are missing. I don't know if it's just that the fact that they're getting older 
or the fact that they just kind of feel like they can phone it in. But a lot of these bands, I don't know, like Avenged and Asking Alexandria and stuff like that, their tracks just lack energy and creativity. This was so full of life and vigor. I mean, the dude's throwing out like seven vocal styles in a verse. It was so sick. I really, really enjoyed this. It was amazing. I really, really enjoyed the vocals. Probably that's the, the highlight for me. But honestly, every single part of this was so sick. But like those vocals were really, really good. I loved the, the, the kind of big uh, alto kind of vocals in the chorus. You don't get a lot of male singers with kind of a lower register in this genre. People tend to value that kind of high, whiny voice. And don't get me wrong, that's kind of my preferred style too. But I think this guy really kills that that alto, kind of more lower style, and he really sounds fantastic. But also, man, those those harsh vocals were so sick. So many little, like, nasty little screams just hidden in there. This little ear candy is super cool. The drums were just ridiculous, ridiculous. Double kick working absolutely overtime with those two bass drums. Super, super cool. And man, those guitars, those guitars were so good. Really reminded me of some like old school like Coheed and Cambria type stuff with the harmonies and just the fastness and the technicality of it. Super, super cool. Great old school type riffs. Uh, man, what a great song. I really, really enjoyed that. Let me know uh, what other All That Remains stuff I should be checking out. Like what's their classic album that I should go back and listen to? Uh, and also let me know what you guys thought of this track in the comments down below as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. Enjoy with me today. See you in the next one.